Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Soft Sports Balance with 487 rating versus Verbren TD with 366 rating, so it's going to be another DB rated match, and let's go ahead and hop right in, so we're going to see Sports Balance win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, go first, 40 versus 40, gotta love to see it, opening hands, we got the Gates of the Dark World, Dark World, Brainwashing, Genta, Zalamander, Catalyzer, and Snow, and then they have Adventure, Toucan, Shifter, Eagle, Harpies, Featherstorm. Okay, so they main deck Harpies, Featherstorm. Lost the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot. Deserved. But they open Shifter and a very good, like, a lot of engine alongside the Shifter. So they're going to go discard Genta. Oh, they said Standby Phase, Shifter. Now, they said Enter Main Phase, Sent, Sent Shifter to Graveyard, Standby. Yeah... So, I mean, you just gotta, like, say main phase question mark or something. Activate gates, activate Salamander. So, it's gonna discard Genta, bring out... Oh, this will just bring itself out, because gates, and this doesn't need to, like, send for cost or anything. Make Babuska, set Brainwashing, pass, draw Defissure, Adventure, banish Toucan, and then go search for map, gain 500. And then activate Defissure. Uh... Not quite sure why you do that, because like, they're under shifter anyways. But we're going to Toucan add back, Eagle's supposed to be in defense, set Harpy's Featherstorm, and then pass turn, draw Lower Darkness. Oh, so it's the goal here for Babuska to detach, switch to attack, try to Zeus, and then you Harpy's Featherstorm, and then you have Engine rolling, and they probably can't do anything. So switch to attack, battle phase, attack, and then they're going to activate the Harpy's Featherstorm. So, beat over Eagle, Allure, draw Banish Mothman, and then Summon Zeus, pass turn, draw Duality. Okay, so activate Duality, and then look at the top three cards. So, that hits Prosperity, and we already have Map, Toucan, with Eagle Banish, too. So, activate the Prosperity, go ahead and Banish, so Banish 6. Okay, look at the top six. And then, they're going to grab back Robin. Oh, they have so much engine now. Because now it's like, even if you Zeus, when they map effect, it doesn't matter because you know that they push through it. So then what, you just hold Zeus? Yeah, you just hold Zeus at that point for sure. Uh, reveal Robin off map, go banish Ostrich, Robin 1, Eagle 2. So Eagle will come back to hand and then go search for Barrier Statue. Normal summon Eagle, Eagle 1, Ostrich 2. And then, oh, that's funny. They said hand is Toucan Barrier Statue at the moment, question mark. And they said K. That's funny. Okay, I just didn't want to tell them what was in hand. But they're going to go ahead and add back and then go search. So go search for the Apex Avion. And then tribute off for Apex Avion. Uh, why? This is bad. You can't just do that. You have to, like, Summon Empen, right? Empen search trap card. And then Empen force Zeus. And then you still have the trap card. But summon Toucan. Toucan effect. And then Toucan will go ahead and grab back adventure. And then summon statue. Imagine all of this could have been changed if the D fissure was never used. Because this could have just stayed in hand and still been in hand at this point. So then you just force Zeus and then you just activate Fissure with the trap card and you like for sure win. But uh, they're going to go ahead and adventure, tag out Toucan to search for Empen. And then pass. Like something had to have been done different there, right? Switch to attack, battle phase, attack over Apex Avion, and then Zeus effect, wipe the field, and then discard Genta, go search the gates of the dark world. You don't even have engine. <laughs> like, you lost to what was on board. There's no way you're real. He said GG. <laughs> All right, on to the next game. We're going to see the opponent go first. Opening hands, we got Dark World Ascension, Chupacabra, Rainbows, Beige, and then Mothman, they have Eagle, Adventure, Shifter, Map, and Empen. Okay, so they open the, the classic Shifter, Map, Eagle. 
So activate shifter, activate map, effect, reveal eagle, go banish robin, and then summon eagle, eagle one, robin two. So add back the robin, go search. We already have empen in our hand, so maybe we go ahead and we grab something like apex avion. Then summon robin, robin effect to go search, grab out barrier statue, tribute off the field, go for empen, Empen 1, Eagle 2, so grab back Eagle, go search, and then that can go ahead and grab the... Oh, that's not the purple card. I guess we're under shifters, so like we know our opponent can't ever do anything. Like They're never going to do enough. Activate. Ooh, they draw Lightning Storm. Okay, Lightning Storm, call monsters. Wipe those out. And then go Mothman effect, discard Rainbow. This doesn't get its effect unless it's sent to the graveyard. Draw Dark Ruler. And then Chupacabra, hit Chupacabra and Scoops. They needed that to hit something else, so that way they could go ahead and Babuska the opponent. Probably. Um, I'd have to go back and look at it, but I'm pretty sure it'd just be Babuska, right? Because you know the opponent has Unexplored Winds, Map. Uh, you know that they have Apex Avion in hand. Do you know that they have a little bird, though? I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah, you know that they have a bird, because they have an eagle in hand. So then they outed anyways, so you'd have to Zeus wipe, you can't just end on Babuska. Otherwise they could like map for eagle, and then just like summon Apex Avion by tributing your guy, because unexplored winds. But we got Grapha, Brow, Ascension, Grapha, and then Gate. They have unexplored winds, Defissure, Evenly, Adventure, Change of Heart. They don't have Engine yet though. So go Main Phase, Activate, and then Fuse. And then effects, so we're going to get the draw, and then, you know, this mandatory effect to pop, not, even though there's nothing to pop, it still activates. Genta, go grab field spell, field spell effect, banish, discard, and then draw one. Uh, Genta, bring itself out, Grapha, bounce back to summon, activate a lure, draw zombie world, and beige, banish Genta, activate gates, banish, discard, draw chupacabra, beige, bring itself out, and then bounce back to summon out Grapha. Alright, uh, then we're going to discard to add back the fusion spell, and then beige effect to summon itself out, normal summon chupacabra, make number 60, number 60 effect to draw and discard, draw lure and snow, discard snow, snow effect, go search, and then they're going to go search out a silva, overlay, make hope arventure, and then activate zombie world, set, and then pass turn. So this is pretty strong, especially because this, uh, you can use it to discard Silva, and then Silva's gonna make him put two other cards back. They draw Eagle, activate change of heart, target, chain the effect, get rid of Silva, Silva effect, and then that's gonna summon, and then continue. What? If it was discarded from your hand to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, your opponent places exactly two cards from the hand on the bottom of their deck in any order. Yeah, it's like, this is like, that's like one of the big points of some of the, like, there's a lot of different builds of Dark Worlds that we've seen so far. There's a hand loop build, and like, even if you're not playing the hand loop build, you should still know this, because like, it's, it's, it's kind of often that you end on Silva with the fusion. What number, what number 60 effect did you use again? Continue, lol, you have to answer that. Why? It's the rules. It's so whack. It's not part of public information as effect already resolved. Send me or stop slow playing. Oh, these guys are so whack. Like, game one, why didn't the opponent just say the hand? Both cards were known. Who cares? Game two, or game three, this happens. Like, obviously, it was the draw effect. Why are you being unresponsive, although I sent you official rulings about the situation? You never said what effect you used for number 60. I'm asking you to tell me you were being whack about it, so now we wait for a judge. It's in the rules. What rules? You were being whack, installing me. You must declare what effect you're using on multi-effect cards. Bro, you would have asked this last turn when they did it. Like, the, what? Public knowledge that you were talking about, very misleading coming from you when it's a straight lie. But you will want to be difficult, that's fine. I'll ask the judge to ask you, and you will tell them. So you're getting a judge just to get non-public inform- Bro, just view the logs. Like, 
is that hard? It's it's not hard. Just go type. Watch. Watch how fast this could be. Number 60. Summoned. All right. Now you go to 1705. Okay. Now we go to 1705. Detach, detach. Draw. There's no way. They even put the effect in chat. Draw two. There's no way. <laughs> they even said it. This isn't public at all. I read the document, right? But like I said, I'm waiting on judge. Where does it say that? I'll play FF7 while I wait. Okay. Is that Final Fantasy 7? I feel like that is. Hello, how may I help you? Hello, my opponent asked me what Degaris effect I used. How my opponent will tell me what effect. But I told him I don't have to give him that information anymore. He insists that there is a rule set telling me that there's this part of the public information. I sent him two sources, one being the Yu-Gi-Oh! Konami policy. Why do you think you don't have to say what effect you're activating? It is not included at all. Because well, now the judge is saying that he's thinking that you're activating this right now. And you're saying, like, I don't have to say which effect. But you never said what effect you used. They did. They did say that. I need to know what lock you're under. That's public information. Why have you read up on the policy? It happened last turn. And oh, it's just, this is so dumb. That's complete. Wait. Uh, what is part of public information then? And it's called knowledge, by the way. I'm very confused as my opponent didn't tell me. Game one, what cards he added to hand. That's completely different. Don't even try to compare. Yeah, I mean... You could have asked differently. You asked what cards are in my hand. Can you clear me up or send me a source to read up on then? Cards become private knowledge after added from deck to hand. A monster's effect effect of a monster on field or public knowledge. And merely asking what effect was activated the last turn of X monster still on the field is not private information. I don't see how this would be like private. I mean, it's literally right on the field. Like. The log itself literally recorded the effect, shows both players. Oh, hold on. Did they, did they thumbs up the effect or something? I swear to God. Summon the effect. Okay. I was going to say, if the opponent, like, thumbs up the effect and still had this judge call, that's crazy. If it was probably, we wouldn't allow that. But the log also tells me what cards were added to the private hand. They used the draw two effect, which actually was communicated. You could have resolved this by scrolling up your log. It doesn't tell your opponent. I didn't know I had the tome. Very weird. Okay. He told you literally. They said Jean is a she. Sheesh. They told you. That was why would you think you wouldn't have to explain an effect from last turn to explain how you got from point A to point B if questioned? Your response to their question is like asking if Baron was used last turn and saying you don't need to answer. Hey, there you go. That, that's a that's an insane example right there. That's a very good example. Because the policy only talked about cards that were played in the current turn. Said it's not. Your thought process here is not reasonable. It's like, I see the perspective, but... They're just salty because game one, they didn't reveal what was in hand. But, like, you could have... Both of these could have been solved with the log. Both of them. Or just paying attention to the game. Thanks. English is not my main language, but okay. I don't I don't get that. Like, why, why does your language matter? You've been talking fine. I used the draw to discard one effect of the... Uh, continue, please. Okay. So now they're going to go battle phase. And then they're going to go end the battle phase evenly. So banish a bunch of cards face down. Bunch of cards. And then activate D Fissure. He didn't put two cards back. Oh my gosh. There's no way you just realized it. For Silva. Whoa, bro. Okay, okay. You can't even be mad because you didn't even know that. You didn't even know the card had that effect. You literally said, okay, continue. Like... Any person that plays this deck, you know, if you're hand looping for two, you for, you're feeling good about it. You want it to happen. You're not just going to be like, oh, why didn't you resolve it? You're going to be like, yeah, 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 put two back, put two back. Yeah, 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 let's do that, let's do that. You never use that effect It's part of the summon. Yes, it, it, it's all like, 
It all it should have happened. It should have happened. It's not like a see. It's it's not like a you can or anything. It's just like all of it's mandatory. So if it's discarded by their effect, they have to put cards back. It's mandatory. Put two back. We have moved way past that point. You can't move past that point. Oh my gosh! You are trolling me. Trolling by being right. Well, you're not right. Just you guys got in an awkward scenario. One second after you leave, my opponent pointed out that neither of us noticed that we failed to resolve Silva, Warlord. Well, I don't even know how Warlord in the name. Of Dark World effect last turn, this turn. And now I've used three cards. Can we roll it back or is it accepted game state? He goes evenly, although he didn't resolve the mandatory effect of Silva to put cards back as he paused the game the first time. That's not what happened. Bro, both of these players are being so whack. Like, it, you usually there's like... This, this is actually wild, because usually when we watch these judge calls, there's, like, a person that's in the right, and then a person that's in the wrong, and, like, maybe they both, like, you know, be a little bit toxic or whatever, but this is just both of them being so wrong about so many things, and, like, this is just wild. I have no idea how this is supposed to be an accepted game state. Oh my god, just shut up, bro. The judge hasn't said anything. This isn't an accepted game state, obviously. And my opponent straight up lies about it being last turn. Uh, what effect of uh, Verbin discarded the Silva? This is just malicious. Silver was summoned last turn. It was literally summoned this turn. It was the Graph of Fusion. Wasn't summoned last turn. I forgot because of Judge Call. How can he say one second it came last turn and then still say he needed to have discarded? He's just lying about it. What? There's a Graph of Fusion. He said question mark, question mark. Like, hey, bro, chill. Okay, okay, don't get mad at the judges, all right? This Gen X record person has literally, like, single-handedly been saving DB because there's never judges on, and this person is always there to help out. So don't don't go yell at the judge, all right? Just, this card is new. This card is new. Banish face down. Oh, I see. Can we rewind this or not? Most likely. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to rewind. I mean, a lot of it's going to end up exactly the same. I don't want to reveal the set card and just put it to the top of the deck. Yep. I mean, the card's known anyway. <laughs> it's not like this card's hidden. You added it back last turn. So we're rewinding. Yes. Wait, we don't need to rewind this far. Silva would be on field then. Judge, you said we're rewinding the Silva. Why'd my opponent just go plus one with change of heart then? Oh, oh my god, just put change of heart and grave. We don't even need to read this yet. Yeah. Change of heart and grave, this negated. Silva effect, Silva effect comes out, and then boom, they're gonna put their two cards back. Warning to both you for procedure, air, minor. Okay, how is that an error on my part? Bro, you're a bozo, you didn't say to put cards back, what do you mean? It's more of your fault than it is their fault. Battle phase, and then they're gonna activate evenly. They could have just hope harvestered this. Like they didn't even know that they were gonna hand loop their opponent. So why did they use this over that? Doesn't make sense. But yeah, if they knew Silva had an effect, then it makes sense. But they didn't know it could hand loop. Adventure, banish eagle, go surge. We're gonna go grab Robin, gain five hundred. They're still in a zombie world though. So Robin effect goes surge can't eagle because they didn't summon a wing beast. And then summon statue, pass, can't draw because number 60, activate a lure. Maybe could have waited because there's really no pressure being applied right now. And now we're just down a bunch of cards. Oh, and they draw duality. So duality, look at three, grab ostrich, put the rest back. Okay, okay. And then summon ostrich, effect, banish grapha, just one of them, no, they still have another one, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, then I go ahead and attack for, you know, a decent amount of damage, not a whole bunch, but attacking for 23, pass, they draw brainwashing, they draw book of moon, okay, now that's even protecting their end board even more, you know, now the, the pressure's really being applied, draw Zephyros, ooh, that's good though, cause they get to beat over Robin, you don't want to beat over statue, cause otherwise they just make Zeus and you lose, so beat over Robin, and then pass, draw prosperity, and then activate prosperity and they can't book a moon Zephyrus or anything either because it has a thousand defense so they can't even beat over it so it'll just be the same problem next turn so they're gonna grab Tukin out of those 
Okay. I mean, Tukin's actually really, really good there, now that I think about it. So, put all that back. Yeah, because you can go Tukin and the Robin, Robin and the Eagle. I think that's what you do this turn, because you want to have the follow-up plus the Zeus. Because you could have just, like, normal summon, overlay assembled, battle phase attack, and then, you know, either crash in the Zephyros to make Zeus or Book of Moon to make Zeus. But now, we get to have all these bird bodies, which may not seem very good, but we do get to... I don't know, because do we actually have follow-up, though? Because it's really just Apex Avion. And, like, my theory behind this was, is, like, if they draw a monster, two bodies get beat over, so at the minimum, we still have two level ones. But then does that actually do anything? Like, having an extra body on board? I don't think it matters. Normal summon Brow. And then Battle Phase. They're going to attack Tukin, attack Ostrich. And then... Pass, draw D Fissure. So go Book of Moon on Statue. And then Overlay for Assemble, which they could have just done this anyways. Battle Phase, Attack, Attack. And then Main Phase 2, Downard, Zeus. And then Flip Statue, Pass. Yeah, I like this because you force them to go Battle Phase. They draw Mothman. And also, depending what. What would Banish Off Prosperity? Okay, so we probably don't have anything. I was going to say, if we have, like, uh, there could be, no, I don't think it would be, like, an Entus play. But if they have something good in their extract that they can attach to Zeus, they could actually just let Statue get beat over, attach, and then affect the wipe. So, they're going to Zeus on the attack there. And then, main phase 2, Mothman effect, hits Mothman, Mothman effect to draw and discard. Uh, they draw D-Fissure, discard D-Fissure, they discard Chupacabra, Chupacabra bring out Mothman, they could Zeus wipe here before they go Zephyrus effect to add back. Chooses not to, so bounce back summon. And then Mothman effect, ooh, hits the trap, okay, summon, draw Dark World Archives, which doesn't do anything, Zeus wipe. So good game, well played, and then it missed defeat. Yep, because it just switches to attack next turn, and they're only at 22, so that's just simply enough for game. Um, let's see, do they say GG's? They do say GG's, let's go. Seeing how long the match was, it was about an hour and 14 minutes long, but that's because of the very long judge calls and multiple judge calls, and the DB Grinders signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.